Hello friends, it's Jim O'Rear. Welcome back to Jim O'Rear's Wacky World, where we are still celebrating Halloween in July at those stores that are already putting out the Halloween decor. And one of those stores is Michael's. And Michael's has taken an interesting approach to their Halloween this year. Um, it's very bright and colorful. It's not the, uh, the typical dark macabre, spooky type uh, things. It's, um, it's more hippie-ish, I guess you could call it. And there's some very cute things. So take a look at what Michaels is offering for the Halloween 2024 season. One of the things I like about Michaels is this spooky town set, and they always come out with new pieces every year, and I love this one. Look at this dark ride. It's like an old carnival dark ride that I grew up on with little carts that go around it and down the hills and through the tunnels. This is a magnificent piece for the Spooky Town series. And if you're not familiar with Spooky Town, you can see it's, it's you know, it's like a Christmas village, except all Halloween. Um, this Fright Night Cinema is very, very cool. It uh, has the monsters on it, and I love that window right there. Um, and, uh, you know, if you've got room for it in a place, you know, especially fireplace mantles and things like that, you can set this stuff up on. Um, here's a Cursed Ruins these are these are really cool. I um I love seeing these every year. Um I would never start collecting it because I would want every single piece and I just don't have room for it. But I do love coming here and, and looking at at all the pieces and, and I don't know though, that that dark ride one I may have to have. Uh, also equal to, to that this year is the Smoke and Mirrors Magic Shop. Love it. The little hat has a evil rabbit that pops up and a dracula there doing the floating woman but look it's got a pepper's ghost effect in the window just like in the haunted mansion as well as to the left of that this face that follows you as you move see how it looks like the face follows you wherever you're you're moving and um little saw the woman in half illusion i love that magic shop here's the broken bell telephone company uh creepy pumpkin patch and it, these are these are fantastic and they have these little figures and things and you can you can get all of these little accessories there's some of them there that you can just build this whole little monster halloween village out of and uh, some some really cool pieces this year that i have not uh, you know i did some of them new uh and and uh, probably some old ones there that i've just missed in the past but uh Really, really cool village. Uh, if you haven't seen those, check them out. Now, they have a lot of different types of lights this year. Here's a six-inch, uh, pretty large little eyeball that lights up and does different colors. They've got several different types of uh, icicle lights with bats, witch hats, uh, pumpkins, eyeballs, spiders, skeletons. Um, this little light-up ghost is super cute. I like him. They've also got uh, these uh, string lights that are pumpkins, ghosts, uh, witches. Uh, there are some of these little little globes, these projection globes that project images on the wall. Uh, I like this bloody light bulb. That is very cool. I like those a lot. Um, also, uh, here's another globe. It does some, uh, some other things that uh, that other one does not. Kind of like that one better actually um, a few more string lights with bats witch hats uh, skulls um, really neat especially for patios and around the pools and stuff like that also there's some lighting for mantles um, I like this these pumpkins right here these are the little stakes that go uh, you know you can put them along your walkway or your driveway or whatever and uh, and they light up love that and I'm a big fan of these, these fake pumpkins that you can carve because you carve them once and you can use them year after year after year. I got some of these and carved them as the Haunted Mansion Hitchhiking Ghosts and I put lights in the bottom of them and I turn them on and I use them every year. They're going strong after like five years. I, I love them instead of buying new pumpkins and carving something new every year. Here's a lot of Halloween garland that you can use for, for different things and stringing about. And now I mentioned earlier that they were going into some type of a 60-ish, hippie-ish sort of colors. And here's some of that with the pinks. I love that little cutesy little skeleton. Um, a lot of pink colors this year, uh, as well as oranges and yellows, um, some different types of uh, 
uh, well, di several different shades of, of pinks, uh, some oranges, and you can see how they've incorporated these type of uh, sort of rainbow colors into their uh, into their figures and decorations this year. Even their skeleton animals that have a mixture of those bright 60-ish, hippie-ish style colors on those. Um, there is this um, odd wreath. This is an odd wreath, little pom-pom balls, all done in those colors. Uh, a little, little sign like that. Here you go, some more pumpkins and ghosts using that same color palette. These will look cute in a bathroom, um, even a kitchen maybe, but I think really in a bathroom, those items right there would be cool. Here's some skulls and tombstones using that uh, that new color palette that they are trying out this year. And, um, you know, I like it. A lot of people are going to look at, uh, at these colors and go, you know, that's not Halloween at all. I, I hate it. But um, I do like it. It's different. It's very different. Um, Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights is going with a similar type of color scheme this year with a, with a lot of bright colors. And um, I applaud them for taking that risk. That is definitely a risk for them this year. Here's a few different types of Halloween pillows that are a little more traditional. And then we get into more of the flower power 60th style uh 1960s style things with that i love that that shelf there that coffin shelf um some uh disco ball ghosts and pumpkins and um and again going back to that flower power hippies type color and style um again i, I applaud them i applaud them for going in this direction because it's something completely different and it's either going to set them apart as something different and do well for sales or it's going to severely crash and burn we're going to find out. There you go. That's a look at what Michaels is offering for the Halloween 2024 season in their home decor, some interior and exterior, primarily interior decorations, but uh, fun, right? Fun. Very different because of the coloring and, and all of that. Um, kind of 60-ish. I like it. So keep watching this channel. You're going to find more videos about uh, new Halloween decor and all that as we progress closer and closer to the Halloween holiday. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click that like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. But thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.